Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Selenium Tech Automation. In this video, I am going to discuss about how to open Chrome browser in incognito mode. Okay, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and also please drop a like for this video so that our videos will recommend for more people. Okay, let's get started. So, how to launch our browser? Chrome browser in incognito mode. So first of all, what is incognito mode means it is also one kind of internet browsing mode where our browser will automatically delete the browsing history at the same time our browser will delete the cookies at the end of the session. Okay, so the same the same incognito mode we can open it from Safari as well and also for Firefox browsers and also for IE browser and also for Edge browsers. Okay, so now I will show you uh, how we can do this incognito mode with the help of Chrome browser. Okay, so to do that first we need to understand about one class that class is called as Chrome options class. Okay, so what is Chrome options class exactly in our Selenium web driver. Okay, so with the help of this Chrome options class we are going to manipulating various properties of our Chrome driver. Okay, there are different properties of our Chrome driver. So those properties we are going to manipulate with the help of the class called as Chrome options class. Okay, here properties means we can perform. Okay, we can perform various operations like we can open our Chrome in maximize mode as well as we can disable if there are any existing extensions are available we can disable all those extensions during our execution at the same time we can disable there are some pop-ups will come in between our execution we can disable all those pop-ups as well and also we can set our uh, byte i mean we can set our default to zoom level as well sometimes if you are opening your browser it is going i mean by default it is taking 150 percentage right so during that time maybe your scripts are not going to work due to your zoom size of our current browser right so during that time also we can set by default to 100 percent at the same time we can uh, disable some info bars as well and also we can make our chrome browser as our default browser for all the executions right and also we can perform our uh, execution in headless mode also even we can open our browser in incognito mode or in private mode as well okay so these are all the different properties where we can manipulate with the help of chrome options class okay here chrome option is a class so where we can manipulate different properties like disabling the info bars disabling the uh, if there are any existing extensions and also disabling the uh, zoom size to default zoom level size that is to 100 percent and also we can disable uh, we can set our uh, browser to default browser so likewise we can mention and also we can open our browser in maximized mode and also we can uh, make our browser i mean we can disable some pop-ups as well while executing our scripts so for that reason only we are using this chrome options class here so first let me create an object with the help of chrome options chrome options options equals to new chrome options okay new chrome options so if you are using the latest version of selenium we can perform this incognito or private mode with the help of chrome options only if you are using lower version of 3.8.1 below versions means you need to use desired capabilities so then you are going to merge that desired capabilities to your chrome options okay we can do in that way as well if you are working with the lower version of your selenium but i am using the latest version that is 4.1.1 version of selenium so that's why i'm not using any desired capabilities here if i use also it will give you some error saying that deprecated warning it is not an error it will throw you some deprecated warning message so that's why i'm using chrome options is my class here okay that's why i'm using my chrome options is my class here so next what is our line okay so with the help of okay as i mentioned there are several properties we can uh, manipulate with the help of chrome options class to do all those actions if i want to set my default browser size at the default zoom level at the same time if i want to disable any pop-up blockers and also if i want to uh, disable any existing extensions so how we can do means the help of one method that is called as add arguments method okay so this add arguments method will accepts 
the properties whatever we have discussed in the terms of string data type okay in terms of string we are going to perf i mean we are going to mention what property we are going to perform now so that is incognito i am going to perform that is incognito mode i want to open my browser in incognito mode right so that's why i have added here online that is called as add documents after this i am going to use one set capability method okay so it is also an object of which one it is also an object of chrome options only okay i am going to use one method that is called as set capability on the object of my chrome options here object is options right so on the object of options i am going to use one method that is called as set capability and we are going to passing this particular capability okay this particular capability inside that set capability method okay let me write a line for that one options dot set capability here you can see uh, what it is telling there are string capability name and string value i am going to use this one okay so here what is my string capability name here that is what is my uh, capability name here that is chrome options okay chrome options dot this is my capability right so chrome options dot capability so what i am doing here i am creating one method on the object of options chrome options object so and i am passing okay and i am passing the chrome options dot capability and the object of chrome options class okay now i am going to pass this object of chrome options class as well here okay now i have passed two parameters here the first one here is chrome options dot capability and i am providing here the object of chrome options class as a parameter of this particular set capability method okay once this is done what i am going to do now i am going to use one line called as system dot set property okay system dot set property saying that web driver web driver dot chrome dot driver okay web driver dot chrome dot driver after that i am using here where exactly my chrome driver is located that is chrome driver dot exe right chrome driver dot exe i have defined my driver path here with the help of system dot set property next line what is our next line once it is done i am going to write web driver driver equals to new chrome driver of you can see here okay you can see chrome driver options okay which will create some new chrome drive instances with the help of specified options okay so that's why i'm taking here chrome driver of options okay because i want to launch my browser in incognito mode so that's why i am taking chrome driver as parameterized with chrome driver options okay so followed by what is our next line so with the help of driver dot get okay with the help of driver dot get i am going to define my url so what is our url here so remaining lines i will copy from here okay i will copy from here and uh, let me just remove this okay so that i will uh, save my time okay that's it we are not going to do anything okay so first what i have mentioned here i have mentioned on chrome options class here by creating an object here chrome options means it is used to manipulate in the various properties like setting our default zoom level to 100 as well as if there are any pop-ups are there we are going to disabling the pop-ups and also i am going to set my chrome browser as my default browser and i am going to perform some incognito or private mode automate operation as well with the help of chrome options class so with the help of chrome options class object i am going to use one method so where we are going to mention our property that is incognito is my property where i am going to perform now once that is done with the help of set capability method i am going to provide okay i am going to provide chrome options dot capability followed by our object that is chrome options class object reference variable once that is done the remaining lines are similar only that is setting our driver path here then creating like app driver driver equals to new chrome driver of options then driver dot get http orange hrm page so in this way we can able to launch our browser in incognito mode okay so now let me execute and we will see whether it is opening in incognito mode or not 
Oke. Okay. It is launching. You, you can see here. It is opening in incognito mode only. Here you can see the text incognito. Oke. Okay. Incognito mode. It is opening currently. Once it is clicking. It is going to login page. Okay, here you can see it is incognito mode. It is launching our current browser in incognito mode. This is how we can launch our browser in incognito mode with the help of an, arg an argument that is incognito argument. We are passing to our Chrome options class. Okay, so this is how we can launch our browser in incognito mode. We can also perform the same incognito mode for the remaining browsers as well such as Firefox as well as for Edge browser. You can it perform it for IE browser and Safari browsers as well. Okay, in this way we can perform. Okay, I hope you guys uh, got some idea about how we can open incognito mode, our browser in incognito mode. If you like this video, please drop a like and also please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Okay, thank you so much guys. We will connect with our next videos. Thank you so much.